Hey good people, I want to do something a little different. It ain't a new thing to see a ranking for best weapons in the game, but I actually want to make one for fun options on exotic guns to use in Destiny 2 PvE. So let's go. Let's start at number 10. It is the classic, and I mean classic, Outbreak Perfected. Why is it fun? Well, it sounds good, feels damn good to shoot, and for rapid hits and precision kills, you get to see a cloud of pissed off mosquito bots swarm and then try to eat whoever is close enough. Cherry on top is the catalyst. Stronger nanites and enemies that die with them attached spawn even more. That's the circle of life y'all, no Lion King. Alright, and then next at number 9 is the Vergless Curve. Now this underrated exotic bow in my opinion has a combat loop that feels like Christmas. Hawkeye up to 5 enemies to death and your next hip fire shot shoots out up to 5 freezing arrows in a spread. This is so fun for ad control, it ain't even funny. The catalyst will then let you draw faster for freezing fools. The real potential comes when you make a stasis build to go with this baby. Build into it and it'll be hard to put down if bows are your thing. Moving on to number 8. The Colony Grenade Launcher ain't gonna win any DPS awards, but that's okay. If you have a squad of ads, it's dumb fun to literally just shoot off a mag all over the place and watch those robo spiders scream and look for enemies to blow up and blow them up like they owe the money. One of my favorite exotics of all time, it just feels unique. At number 7 is the Osteo Striga SMG. Why? Cause it's a poison SMG that spits bullets at enemies, turning them green and sick, making them take damage over time. Then with a green explosion after a kill, best thing here is, with the catalyst, kills will overfill your mag so you can keep popping them with those green dots. It's always fun to kill one enemy in a group and just start watching them all get poisoned. With the necrotic grips on as a warlock, you can literally just sit back and do nothing as you watch crowds just fall over. And now for number 6, I got Quicksilver Storm. This auto should have been in the 80s action movie. It sends rockets out while you're shooting bullets at faces. But wait, there's more. Rocket hits will load grenades into the gun, and that's up to three of them, that you can activate the alt fire and start tubing as the death wit. Say hello to my little friend. 911, ah! what's your emergency? I'm dead. I think I'm dead. It's just so good for everything, and it makes me feel like my name is Marcus D. Honest Waltonator. Alright, at the halfway mark is the Lament Sword. Being able to tank hits while doing a Street Fighter combo, complete with a unique and hard slapping heavy attack, just makes this thing a fun and effective choice when you gotta chop at the boss's ankles. Now at number 4 is the Tiku's Divination Bow. Feel free to sub in Trinity Ghoul here instead if that's your favorite. The fun here is using the bow to rain down an element on an enemy, whether that's fire and explosions with Tiku's or lightning with Trinity. Don't lie, a deadly bow with Michael Bay special effects is fun as hell. And then moving into top 3, now we got Grand Overture. This confused machine gun thinks it's a rocket launcher and don't anybody tell it different. It's perfect the way it is. Land in those single hits to stack those rockets so you can let loose on a bigger enemy will never, never, ever get old. Satisfying is the word for this thing. And here we go at number 2, I've got the Lord of Thunder machine gun. Come on now, especially with the catalyst, letting you reload a lot less so you can just hold on the trigger and keep dumping bullets and lightning storms on fools. Seeing those health bars drain from steady fire, plus any little flunkies getting Thanos snapped if they get caught by the lightning, is just big fun to me. And alright, now at the top, 
I've got the only exotic that lets you be Michael Jordan, the ruinous effigy. Melting enemies with a purple Barney beam, turning them into a ball that you can then pick up and then dunk on someone else is not only fun, but admit it, it's a little disrespectful to your enemies. And ain't that just a meaning of fun in D2? Boom shakalaka! Okay, I gotta admit, that was humorous. Don't lie now. Okay, now I wanna see your most fun exotics and your top 10 list in the comments. Appreciate the view. Likes and subs help a lot too. And thanks y'all. Have a dope day and I'm out.